everyone, Joella May here. Today is day 15 of my guided meditation inspired by Jack, Dr. Joe Dispenza. Oh, my sheet's fighting me. I thought I had this straightened out before I started the video, but I guess not. I'm still, I don't know where I am at. So, <clears throat> I'll put today's video in the link box down below. It was like a 46 minute meditation. The music that he was playing was music that I was used to listening to, so it was hard for me to get out of my own head. But I also had a very hard time sleeping last night or this morning. I don't even know what time it is. Yeah, I didn't look at the clock when I woke up. I just went to the bathroom and started my meditation. Then my son came in the room, then I stopped it, and then I started it over. So it was very hard for me to stay and focus on the whole meditation. I wanted to stop halfway through, but I pushed myself to just sit. Even though I couldn't travel, um, I still stayed within the moment to give myself that time. Even though I was very, very anxious and I wanted to stop the meditation and do other things. I was trying to commit to that process no matter where it was taking me so I feel very unsettled right now I have a lot of things I want to do for myself I want to make my tea I'd like to go out to lunch with my son today if it works out because I've been trying all week and it hasn't happened yet um, my yoni update I'm still only kind of spotting I haven't gotten in the flow yet so I'm happy about that because I'm doing free flow so if we go out to eat, I don't think I'll have to worry about it so much. It was interesting yesterday. I went to my chakra therapy. Without plugging myself up and going in free flow. I wasn't in full flow. It's still not. But I was. it was still an emotional process for me to do that. Because that was my first time out of my house during flow in the past four months. I want to give you very inspiring stuff today, but I think I need to be more reflective today. In the beginning of the meditation, he talked about writing down thoughts of the parts of your life that you don't want to be anymore. And that reminded me that I have not been journaling at all this month. Um, when we first split in January, I was journaling every day, sometimes five or ten times in a day. And I haven't picked up my pen to write in probably a month. When I think about it right now, I've been more focused on trying to get things done, um, advance my creativity, and getting back into art and stuff. But I haven't been doing the other grounding stuff. And I've been feeling scattered all week. If you've been watching my videos, you've heard me say that. So, I think I need to start journaling again. Maybe if I can get the words out on paper, I can get a better reflection. And I've been having a harder time writing words lately. So it's going to be a little challenge. I've also noticed that it's not so much in the meditation that I'm restless as my body gets restless because when I first wake up in the morning, I want to move, I want to stretch. So I'm thinking that maybe tomorrow I'm going to start doing um, some yoga before I do my meditations so I don't feel so restless in the meditations. So I might start doing a yoga video um, tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to make it a goal yet. But through my restlessness, excuse me, through my restlessness today, I think I need to. So I need to figure out how I'm going to apply that into my morning routine. Because I don't have my routine um, in order. I was 
was being very ritualistic in the first couple months with lighting my sage and my candle every day and when I first got my candles and things, but I haven't really been doing that too much. Um, last night, I was trying to go to sleep around midnight, and then I don't think I ended up falling asleep until 6 a.m. So I was just lying here. And it's crazy, too, because I only got three hours sleep, and I was exhausted all day. But when it came time to sleep, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. So, I'm going to try to do some journaling and some yoga today. And burn some uh, in sage and some incense and stuff throughout the day today. To see if I can like clear out some of the scatteredness. You know, you would think. Since I had my chakra alignment yesterday, that I'd be a lot more chill, but I didn't do my cleansing bath like I was supposed to when I got home. So that might be, that might have something to do with the scatteredness. I don't know. But I definitely need to pay attention to myself more today. I know being out and about yesterday and driving around, I was all up in my head all day. So I'm sure that had something to do with it too. I wasn't prepared. I didn't prepare myself the day before to go out. I didn't do any extra grounding and cleansings or cord cuttings or protections or anything. So I think that's why I was oh, still waking up. Um, so off center. Yeah. So again, today is day. 15 of guided meditations and I feel a bit scattered today so I'm going to make some tea burn some incense do some yoga mm. I want to do a cord getting but I don't think I can sit and because I feel too restless right now so I'm going to just try to do some household things get my body moving and then try to come back to a meditative center and do a cord cutting later in the afternoon after lunch or something. What time is it? One o'clock. Okay. So Six or seven, seven, eight, eight to nine, nine to ten, ten to eleven, eleven to twelve, twelve to one. Okay, so I got about six hours sleep because I've been up. The meditation was forty-six minutes in the bathroom and everything, so I didn't get a full seven hours sleep. I got six, maybe, because I don't know exactly when I fell asleep. I know it was around five when I like started feeling like I was nodding out. This is. The sun was almost coming up when I went to sleep again. I think this is the fourth day where I've had that. Ever since the migraine, I've been I haven't been sleeping right. Mm -hmm. So hopefully through this uh, new moon coming up, I think it's tomorrow officially. Yeah, today's the 29th, so tomorrow officially will be the new moon. And hopefully I'll be able to release then, and hopefully I'll be in flow when it comes. I'm sure my flow will start around 8 something tomorrow night, because, yeah. And it seems to be where my body's at right now. For sure. I wish I had better insight to give you today. Um, do your steps, your routines, the rituals, things that make you feel good. And I'm going to do the same for myself today. I'm going to start with the tea and do some yoga. And um, yeah, we'll see how it goes today. 
I don't know if I'll be posting any more videos today because I know I put up a ton yesterday, probably like 10. I still need to check and make sure they all got loaded and then post them to Facebook because I was having trouble with that last night. I think that's another reason why I was so tired because I made like, I don't know, six or seven or eight videos, 10 new videos yesterday, maybe more. Um, because I was doing so many things yesterday. And then when I got home and I was finally starting to unwind and loading the videos, it wasn't until like 11, 11.30 at night. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why my internal clock is so off. So today I need to bring myself back to center. Um, if I go out to eat with my son today, it's going to be a little bit harder. Because I'll be focused on all that extra outside stuff. Instead of just me. So we'll see how the day plays out. I might do a good night video to do a check-in to see if um, what I did today to get out of the scatteredness mm -hmm. and see what helps and what doesn't help. I think that's what I'll do. It's one in the afternoon now, so uh, so hopefully I'll be able to make it before make the video before 11 p.m. tonight. We'll see. So I remember, I love you. Mm. You, 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 you. I love you. I love me. You take care of you. I take care of me. And we'll be okay. Today's a good day. It's a beautiful sunny day. Have an amazing grand rising, you beautiful souls.